The first thing that sort of struck out to me here was you're looking at a single cell basis. Walk me through why this is important. Well, the cell, the single cell, is the fundamental unit of biology. Um, all of us are made up close to 40 trillion c cells, and they're all different. They all do different things. And what our technology has allowed the world to do is take your biological samples and actually look, analyze each individual cell, the full what's called gene expression profile of each cell across thousands to millions of cells in a single experiment. And that allowed researchers to gain all kinds of insights at the funda fundamental level of biology that shows you the true complexity of biology that was just not possible when people are looking at mixtures. When you take your biological sample, mix the contents of all the cells together, and get an average profile. Um, so the fundamental breakthroughs have just been incredible to see. What discoveries have you made so far? So I should say there was our, it's been our customers who've been making those discoveries using our tools. And it really spans just about the entirety of biological research. It's a, across the spectrum. Uh, one of the studies that I like to point to, this came out about a year ago, where researchers did a uh, kind of a foundational survey of the human and mouse lung tissue and found all kinds of interesting insights, all kinds of data, but in particular, uh, surprisingly, they found this rare cell type. No one had any idea existed. And furthermore, it turns out that that cell, that cell type, expresses the gene responsible for cystic fibrosis, one of the most common inherited diseases in the world, huge health burden, totally unexpected, totally changes our, our understanding of the disease. Many other discoveries, many other findings across cancer, uh, neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, infectious diseases. It's actually hard to think of an area of biology where cust our customers have not made fundamental discoveries using our technology. Serge, you talked about Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, and I wonder, how do you measure success? Is your success measured on when you can find a cure for those and cancers and other diseases? Yeah, I mean, you're actually getting right to the core of the mission of the company. Fundamentally, of course, there's lots of metrics how we can measure the, the growth of our business, but really, ultimately, it really comes down how close are we getting to really curing, curing diseases, curing cancer, curing Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. And uh, a proxy, like a, a, what we track internally very closely, is the other scientific discoveries coming out of our customers' labs in terms of peer-reviewed publications. Serge, we are Bloomberg after all, so I would be remiss <laughs> if I didn't mention the IPO and the financial. So congratulations on the IPO. How does your strategy change now that you're going to be scrutinized on a quarterly basis? Well, you know, uh, that's, that's a fair question. And I would say that as, as we've done from the very beginning, we're going to keep our focus in the long term. That's my orientation, I think, in terms of years and decades. And yes, might, there might be some challenges with the stock price now being an indicator there that moves uh, minute by minute. But fundamentally, we're, we're, we don't plan to change the way we operate the business. It's really about the long run. And it's, it is really about enabling the world to find these cures. There was a patent um, suit that hit you right before the IPO. How do you respond to that? Well, you know, it's an unfortunate fact of life that our, our space, life science industry in general, has a lot of patent litigation. You know, we have our own very large IP portfolio, over 600 pending patent applications. And fundamentally, we're going to be focused on our business and really driving the growth and execution and uh, making sure that our customers are able to do their amazing research.